my website. These are facts. These are government documents that I believe deserve a wider audience. Mm. And actually, there are a whole load of documents that deserve a wider audience. Mm. This could be over this weekend. The Prime Minister could have published all these documents uh, and just be done with it. We don't need Jeremy Hayward and a hand-picked delegation by a Conservative MP to deal with this. Mm. What we need is this information out there so people can form their own view. And there are files missing. Uh, my, my researcher has discovered a Home Office file, HO532. The entire contents are missing and should be in there under the 30-year rule. So uh, is the, are these the seeds uh, for the whitewash then in the inquiry? Is that what you see? Well, as a, as a former Defence Minister and a Cabinet Office Minister, I have got an inkling about how these, uh, these inquiries can go. And if you, if you want to knock something into the long grass or you're mm -hmm. slightly worried about what the outcome might be, you generally get a civil servant to do it. I mean, Paul, the, the, the level of trust in David Cameron may be high, but it's kind of not going to be high. It's going to start to crumble. And, you know, there are various, kind of, not just rumours, but people are digging up other material. So how can you kind of, as it were, you know, convince the Sikh community who is concerned and our viewers that, no, you know, there's integrity, David Cameron will, and I know you've said that you're going to have a meeting with him, but will you, you know, Will you make him aware that you know we need to act fast and we need to avoid any kind of whitewash? Absolutely, I, absolutely from the core of my soul. That's what I mm. what I'm going to do. Every sinew of my being will do that. The one word the prime minister used on the Wednesday night video mm. message was transparency. Yeah. In a statement earlier that day, I think Ed Miliband had said, "What Sikhs want is transparency." Mm. So this is very simple. I, uh, I think this will be, I trust and I hope, this will be very speedy, it will be very transparent, it will be very thorough, and it will get to the truth. Yeah. And that, um, is, that is, it's very simple, there's no rocket science about this. And will you go on record, because, you know, if the truth comes out and the truth uh, is revealed that there, there was pot possibly illegal activity, you know, it, it was illegal under U UN, uh, you know, conventions, um, uh, that doesn't allow uh, a country uh, to attack the religious uh, institutions, I think it's uh, 50, uh, these will know about that, there are actually, would you then, uh, you know, if there was any illegal activity, would you then order the British government, well you can't order, them, can't but, order would you, the but would you then want then to, to some kind of prosecutions uh, well, to emerge out there? let's, you know, I have to say, Uncle, because again I, I refer back to the initial response I, mm. I've given, not just me, but all my family are tired of, of, of we want to get to the truth, yeah. shall we let the truth come out? It should come out fairly soon, which okay. from, you know, sort of my vibe on this, it's going to come out fairly quickly. And the truth okay. will come out fairly yeah. transparently, very thoroughly, mm. very quickly. And then we can certainly cross that bridge to, uh, uh, when we okay. get to that point. And at that point, I will say now, I'm more than happy to come into any studio, any radio station and debate it. So, so are you saying that your loyalty to your, your party is secondary to your loyalty to the truth and to the commitment for justice to actually come forward? Well, <laughs> my, I'm a Sikh, mm. you know, absolutely. My loyalty, first and foremost, is to my country. I'm a British Sikh, okay? okay. It's country, constituency, party. That's not my words, those are Churchill's words. Okay. I think if you stick to that, you won't go far wrong in life. Okay, um, let's just quickly go on to Aaron.